that's the best definition, basically, of what he just said of self awareness. It's not about when you when you really discover who you are. It's not about one person being better than the other. It's about celebrating who you are, celebrating your strengths, celebrating the things that make you you. Not mm-hmm. focusing on the weaknesses, focusing on yeah. the things that you lack. If people spent the amount of time that they spend on worrying and complaining about the things that they're not good at, if they took that energy and used it on what they're good at, oh they would be a completely different scenario. If you just double down on what you're good at. Bring you, bring you value is our vow and our philosophy. The sales wolves hustle hard, it's our policy. We create economies, we're crushing the Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. I am Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Yeah, yeah. There it is. You know, I was just thinking, is this the first podcast without a beard that I for me? This the, yeah, it is. <laughs> yes. Interesting. So that happened. Next subject. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> Next topic, because it's still a little emotional. Um, we have a friend with us today, our guest. We do. Yep. Do Bartholomew over there. Yep. Just gonna rest so this is episode <laughs> 25 of the Sales Wolves podcast. We appreciate you joining us today. Um, as always, we've got two reasons why we do this. Number one is to show support. Um, or number one is to show just a general appreciation for salespeople and just people in general. Um, whether you actually work in sales or not, you more than likely are selling yourself on a daily basis. At least you should be, and um, in the most proper, no, no proper offense way to the proper, street walkers. <laughs> I was in the more, no offense. In the most proper way, professional way possible. Uh, but number two is to actually provide training and real tactics and real just things that you can put into use in your everyday life, whether that be career or in your life. Absolutely. Um, ultimately, to make to make an impact, and that's really the only reason why we spend our precious time and yeah. energy and resources, because uh, we don't unfortunately get paid to do this. Right. And you know, here's the thing, man. Because the topic today is so near and dear to both of us, really, this applies to absolutely anyone. Anyone that wants to see their circumstances change, they have to go through this process. Exactly. You want to introduce this process to a man. Since, Absolutely. Since you, I have personally witnessed you change um, probably more than, I don't know that I've seen it. I wear a lot of clothes, so. I don't, <laughs> I don't know that I've seen a better case study. <laughs> He's than, literally seen me change more than my wife. Wait, that's not, that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mait- that's, Maitland, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the topic of today. It's, it's really trying to figure out what is the secret uh, to personal change, and when you talk about this as a topic, it's it's so funny to hear any speaker talk about it, or to hear any program. The answer they're going to give you is going to be, "Hey, this program, this process, this system, this, this book. pill, this book, this <laughs> this uh, Udemy course, this or Udemy or whatever." This uh, I don't even know what that word is. It's just basically like programs and classes. This school, oh. this whatever. This is going to give you the secret to personal change and to bettering yourself and to getting better. Um, But what I would tell you is that the secret to personal change is found in the truth. Um, It's figuring out who you actually are. Um, And and I think the the best way to phrase that or to frame that would be to say that that's the first step. It's the secret because you can't do any part of changing until you figure out who you are. You can't start the other 30, 40, 50 steps along the way until you've figured that part out, which is who in the world are you? So who are you? (laughs) You know what's funny? (laughs) As you were saying that, I was thinking back through the evolution Mm -hmm. um, 
the evolution of our business. Yeah. And I had to I had to face the truth of who I was and who I wasn't so that I could know who I needed around me mm-hmm. so that we could take a business to another level. Yeah. And that's uh that's hard sometimes. That's hard sometimes to look yourself in the mirror and go, okay, these are the, you're terrible at this. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you, there's this guy, Tyler, he's really good at this. Mm-hmm. And together, we'll dominate. Is but, that like a, for like a 90-10 kind of thing in that scenario? Me do 90%, <laughs> you do that. I just needed 10%, so that's why I could go for such <sighs> low rent. <laughs> Uh, at least I'm getting what you pay for. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that, but that, and that's the best definition, basically, what he just said of self awareness. It's not about when you when you really discover who you are. It's not about one person being better than the other. It's about celebrating who you are, celebrating your strengths, celebrating the things that make you you. Not mm-hmm. focusing on the weaknesses, focusing on yeah. the things that you lack. If people spent the amount of time that they spend on worrying and complaining about the things that they're not good at, if they took that energy and used it on what they're good at, oh my they would be a completely different scenario. If you just double down on what you're good at. And so but, when you talk about the truths, it's the truths about your actual skills and abilities, not what you tell people you can do, not what you right. rationalize in your head, like, oh yeah, I can do that, but like, what are you actually good at? Not your Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I saw somebody yesterday quoted, quoted something and it said, not everybody is who they post to be. Oh, P-O-S-T. And I was like, yeah. oh, God. That's great. That's really good. That's true. You know? And so it's the truth about your relationships. It's the truth about your past. It's the truth yeah. about who you are behind closed doors. Yep. You know, the phrase, how you do anything is how you do everything. Who yep. that person, yep. who that person is. And, and so there's a huge elephant in the room when you talk about um, this subject. And, and that is the biggest liar in your life is you to you. It's 100%. you to you. And so what are those lies that you've been telling yourself over and over and over? So here's how I'll frame this, this part of the conversation, because this is like the biggest topic that you could ever try to tackle in a short period of time. But it's what are the things in your life that you're pretending aren't a problem? Oh. So when you start looking at the, your truths, like who, who am I, who, who really, like who am I? What are those things that are in your life that you're pretending aren't a problem, that you're telling yourself, ah, it's not a big deal? Not a big deal. Here's the interesting thing. is like when you ask that question to someone, like just last weekend, we asked it to a group of people. And the second you ask it, and the second I just asked you, so what is it in your life that you're pretending is not a problem? The second I said that, you thought of it. Mm-hmm. Instantly. Instantly. You thought of it. And then the second you thought of it, you immediately started rationalizing that that's not it. And so what, what is, what's the answer that I can give? You immediately started lying. Exactly. And it's, it's almost like that five second rule. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like you thought of it, but then you tried to rationalize oh, out of it. Let me find something else that's easier to deal with. Exactly. And so, right. every, so the reason why, why discovering the truth is so important is because every single <laughs> self-defeating behavior, so if you think about self-defeating behaviors, every single self-defeating behavior in your life is a lie that you believed. You know, think of like, if I, if I can just do this, then I'll get that. If I just do this, then I'll be happy. If, uh, I, yeah. if I do this, people will like me. If I do this, then I'll be successful. All those little things, like every, you can look back to every single problem in your life, every single time that you've been through struggles and had obstacles. Mm-hmm. It was all because of different lies that you were believing at 100%. that time. 100%. And obviously hindsight's twenty twenty, but being able to look back on your life and say, okay, all of these things that have happened, now, who really am I? Until you figure that out, you're building a foundation that's just fake. And so if you build something just in the real world, if you build something on a fake false foundation, anytime it crumbles, it's going to crumble. And so you can't begin that process of personal change until you build a solid foundation. It just can't happen. And one of the things that that you asked people to do was to write it down. Yeah. Write it down. Think about it. Like literally put thought into what it is. What is that thing? And... The reality is, it's probably something that you may not want to talk about. 
Um, I mean, that's why you haven't dealt with it yet. And so what I would say is the majority of these things are things that you can't figure out on your own. It's something that you need other right. people in your life. You sure. need you need mentors, you need relationships, friendships, uh, you know, family relationships that you can talk about these things. And the reason you haven't is because you're embarrassed. You don't you want you yeah. don't want to talk about it. But my question to you would be how's that working out for you? Right. <laughs> if you keep, could, if you keeping can, a hidden, how's it working if, out? If you could conquer it on your own, you already, you would have. Yep. And so if it's still an issue, it's just something that you need to find somebody that's super close to you that you trust. Um, that you can just be open with and say, look, I'm having an issue in this area. Yep. It could be from one extreme to the next. It sure. could, I mean, right now, the person watching this, I can just envision the person watching this, that it could be something that's huge or it could be something huge. that's, you know, just yeah. a little roadblock. Yep. Um, but our hopes is that from this podcast that you'll be able to actually take that problem and just tell, just the act of telling someone about it, speaking it, um, and owning it, because that's what speaking it is, is yeah. owning it, um, that it'll start that process of trying to figure it out, yeah. uh, which, is, which is super important. Um, so if you, if you think about this process of personal change, I guess what you ultimately have to figure out is how serious are you about waging war on personal change? Because in order to conquer these truths, in order to figure out who you really are, you're going to have to be serious about it and brutal and i know honest. and i know for you this year specifically and and over quite a few years for you but this year specifically you've pretty much set out to say hey i'm gonna this war on personal change like i'm gonna put myself in discomfortable or discomfortable discomfortable in discomfort, discomfort uncomfortable or uncomfortable situations, situations and i'm going to put myself through pain i'm going to experience things that i've never experienced before in order to really feel uh figure out who i'm who i am or what i'm made of right that's right i mean things like getting in the pool at two in the morning in a 45 degree pool and just every morning out. all winter yeah yeah every it's, single morning all winter now that yeah, and that was fun you know the podcast we did with tom shea it was yeah. fun we sat in here and talked to him some more about that yeah and, and uh but man it, it it you know as a follow-up to what you were saying when we when we spoke to these people this past weekend about personal change um and we got to we got some of the best you, information is at your fingertips you literally can get on youtube right now you could go to all of our podcasts you could go to like like legit podcasts mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> We're not legit. You could, go, you could go to Gary Vee's stuff. You yeah. could go to, you could go to, I mean, Tony Robbins stuff. You can pull all this information out. You can pull it all out and you can consume it and consume it and consume it and consume it. And if you do nothing with it, if you don't change you, mm -hmm. what's going to change? Not much. Not much. <laughs> it's just his favorite line lately. It's my favorite line. Not much. Not much. Because because I love it. Because we talk to people all the time and they they're uh, you know they complain about about everything if, if when you don't want to deal with that one thing he was talking about what you'll do is you'll redirect right you'll redirect you'll cover this stuff up here you'll wear these masks and you'll redirect to something out here like mm -hmm. i used to i used to complain about political stuff all the time yeah like oh my god man i'm leaving this country if that person gets in mm -hmm. did i ever leave the country no no you know what changed for me I, I, i'll tell you i didn't i didn't vote for obama um I, I, you know, oh, hell, I, I could talk about all the all the ones. I, you know, Bill Clinton was probably one of my favorites, but <laughs> in hindsight, but I didn't vote for him, um, just because he's funny, like <laughs> hilarious, and he would do stuff unapologetically. Which is by far the most qualifying candidate of a, the United States president. <laughs> <laughs> that, you have to be funny, and you have to do things unapologetically. <laughs> but, <laughs> but. But I, I mean, I would complain about it. it didn't matter what side, like yeah. it, like Republican, Democrat. It really doesn't matter what side. Sure, you know, everybody was terrified about Trump getting in, or people were flipping, rioting, mm -hmm. and and you know what changed in their life? Not much. Not much. Nothing. Nothing changes in your life with these things. I mean, people. We can ask you, what's holding you back? If what's holding you back is external. It's never going to change it's unless you change. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie that you It's believe. a lie you're telling yourself. Yeah. So I posted something on Facebook the other day, um, one of my videos, and, and somebody said, well, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> you're the CEO, mm -hmm. and CEOs build companies and then just shit on their employees and take the money. 
and make their money more and doesn't pay people and don't <laughs> take care. It was something like that. And, and this girl, you could tell she was having a bad day. Yeah. Right. And so I answered her and I said, hey, this is my story. Let me sure. just tell you some of my story because you don't know it. And, and she cooked. She was a cook somewhere mm-hmm. and going to school. And she just didn't feel appreciated or something. And so I explained what I was saying with my post. And, 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 um, and she came around. And, and, and as I was going through that, she understood, hey, hey my, one of my first jobs is I, I cooked at Hardee's. Did you know that? I did not know that. M- miserable. It was <laughs> awful being there at like 530 in the morning yeah, cooking, yeah. cooking biscuits. And mm-hmm. oh, my God, it's terrible. But in Black Mountain, it was, I got That's paid awesome. less than, I mean, I can't even remember what minimum wage was then, but it was like four 20, something. 28 cents or something. 28 cents an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, I got to watch my language after the last podcast that was posted. <laughs> I had the, uh, the Southern Baptist Convention <laughs> dislike us on Facebook. <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, but, but, man, here's the thing. Here's the point of everything that I'm saying is that if you don't change you, then not much is going to change. And if, and if what you're saying is that this is external that's keeping you from whatever your goals are or keeping you down or keeping you from doing something you want to do, you're lying. You're doing what he was talking about. You're lying to yourself. And so, and so you have to first tell yourself the truth. Mm-hmm. Is what Tyler say. Personal change. The secret to personal change is found in truthfulness. Mm-hmm. Truthfulness. Exactly who are you? And I think a lot of that has to do with, when you think about personal change, it's, it doesn't have to do with changing into somebody else. Changing into being like, this person or changing and I want to be like that person so I have to wage war on personal change. It's about figuring out who you are and figuring out those strengths that you have and magnifying them. Exactly. Be changing into the person that you are, are supposed to be if you are living to your full capabilities. Oh, yeah. If you are living yeah. to your full potential. I read something the other day that said that the definition of hell was one day at the end of your life meeting the person you could have become if you had lived up to your full potential. That's and that sick. literally almost gives me chills because that's, that's sick. scary. That's, that's scary. super scary because Big that time. person's probably incredible. <laughs> that, <laughs> they're, regardless, but, they're going to be better. But it's but being you, able to see it is uh, and that's, that's what I believe. And not probably incredible. Each and every single person that ever hears us, mm-hmm. that ever doesn't ever hear us, yeah. they need to know that that person, that incredible person, that was gifted in them when they were born. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. That exists in every single human, right? Absolutely. And we layer ourselves and lie to ourselves and cover ourselves up with this lie and believe this lie over here and we trade our truth for another lie here and we give away some truth over here and we accept a lie here. Mm -hmm. I'm low. I'm an idiot. I'm not smart. I'm inadequate. I'm shamed or shameful. I'm guilty. I'm not innocent. What is it? Innocent? Not innocent. Uninnocent. Not real sure. Not innocent. I guess you're just not innocent. Yeah, I guess. But I'm, I'm whatever, whatever it is. We think of all that guilty. I'm the best. I'm the worst. And I, yeah. all these things we pile on ourselves. And we have to. Personal change is like getting rid of that and getting down to the heart of who you really are. Mm-hmm. Figuring out what you're good at, like he's saying. Figuring out where your strengths are and, and doubling down on those and going that direction. That's personal change. So. And, and the other thing that, that you'll find in podcasts and classes and courses and all these info products is that they will want you to figure that stuff out. They want you to figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are, but it's the, it's because they want to sell you courses for the rest of your life on how to get better at your weaknesses. Yeah. Which is not the focus. The whole focus on finding out your strengths and weaknesses is to double down, like you said, triple down on your strengths and either eliminate the scenarios for the weaknesses to play a role in or delegate those to other people. Like Joseph just said, we just did an assessment test pretty recently and Joseph's was like off the charts on relationships. And that's why it was because he's been able to surround himself with people that every little area that he lacked, he was able to surround himself with people that that was their strength. And I and then solved it just my goes problem together. through relationships. And, and, it, and, if and you, I got a lot of them. And if you would, and if you would have tried to have spent that 10 year, 15 year, the last five years, just getting better at those things that you weren't good at, then you would not be here no. to where you are now. No. And, so that's, and that's the encouraging thing is that you're going to figure out in this process of, of figuring out who you are and your truth, you're going to figure out a lot of stuff that you suck at. Yeah. You're supposed to. Like, yeah. That, that's fine. 
it may be that you have a list a mile long of things you suck at, but you've got these three things that you are actually legitimately awesome at. Yeah. Then it's literally how do we get rid of all of that and just go all in so that you're spending 99.9% .9 of your day on the stuff that you're awesome at because 100%. that's how you live a life on purpose and a life of fulfillment is by doing the things that you were naturally born to do and that you're naturally gifted at yep. doing and that's how ultimately you're going to have happiness in your life. I mean, you're never going to be happy trying to change the things that you're bad at. No. Ever. It's miserable. No. I know. And I've done I've tried to do it for years and years I, and years. And you, dude, will, you know how many just... times I pick my towel up off the bathroom floor? <laughs> never. Ne I'm never doing it. Ever. I'm not good at it. I don't do it anymore. I need to write that. I need to write that. I need to write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But that's it, guys. Dude, right is... when you have the best points known to man, I say some stupid <laughs> crap. It's like, well, it's just like woo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey oh, man, this ahead. is a fun podcast. This is this I mean, is, this is important. Real. It's important stuff. And so I, I do want to recap back to that first part though. What is it in your life that you're pretending isn't a problem? That is the absolute most important thing for you to do today is to just write that question down and answer it. Answer and answer it. it truthfully. You don't have to show it to anybody, but just no. write it down and write it out and figure it out and just by doing that this podcast will 100 percent make an impact like it's, and it, it's and impossible if, not and to. if that is an external thing you're going to have to dig deeper you're going to have to peel some layers of the onion mm -hmm. off and get down internal yeah. and figure out what it is yeah um God, i love what you had here on some of the notes man about we spend an enormous amount of energy trying to cover up our sins our hurts and our hang-ups mm -hmm. Man, if you spent that much time being honest, yep. and you said this earlier, but if we spent all that time being honest with ourselves and mm -hmm. honest with those around us, oh, uh, and Tom Shane was talking about honoring your word yesterday. I mean, yeah. it's just it's I mean, there's there's another thing, and I don't want and I don't want to go too far into it. But one of the most impactful things that I heard from Tom Shay um, this past weekend when we got to spend a lot of time with him. Um, again, was a 23-year Navy SEAL, yeah. uh, just incredible uh, career as a Navy SEAL, and now incredible career um, coaching and, and going consulting. He's and the author of Unbreakable. Unbreakable. Um, I am unbreakable. I am. You are. I've tried. <laughs> Every podcast I try to break you, and you just never, ever, ever break. Yes, but and you know what, what he, I am? I am one with you. <laughs> but what he talked about was Connected. that it caught me off guard because I've never thought about it this way. He talked about always having goals and always striving towards achieving goals, and that if you don't have an actual goal in place, if you just are trying to maintain, that you will cause, you will create problems in your life. Yeah. Because your body, your brain, it has to be solving. Has to be solving. You have to be fixing things and solving problems. And so, if you just are trying to maintain, like let's just use an example of, uh, you know, I weigh 220 pounds and I, I'm, I'm good at 220. I just want to stay there. You will literally cause situations in your life for you to gain weight so that you can have to lose it again to maintain. Like it 100%. in every area of your life. And so it was a huge challenge to me to look at all those areas. You know, work wise, I have goals every week. Mm -hmm. But all those other areas to have specific, measurable goals yeah. and an action plan towards achieving them, or knowing that I will create problems that will help, but that will in, that will force me to fall backwards in those areas. Yep. And uh, that's just super interesting because you always talk about you know you're always moving forward or backwards. There's no neutral, but right. like that's the explanation of that's why. That's the Because it's literally your brain will force you to go backwards. Has it to cannot have a stay neutral. Has to have so. a problem to solve. So and that weight one is an easy one to people to understand. That's a good one. We'll probably do a whole podcast on that. Yeah, we I need mean, to. Was, we'll probably, and I awesome. promise we'll have him back on, I'm sure. Hell yeah. He's so, yeah, so he's important incredible. to us. So. Well, good deal. So that's episode 25, The Secret on Personal Change. and uh, Or actually, is it 26 or 25? 26. The last one was 25. 26. The first fire. 26. And I love the fact that people will be able to see that because we don't edit. No! <laughs> <laughs> Which is nice, and we can be transparent and real. So Right. So, so if you say something right. bad about me, everyone's going to hear it, so don't. So that's what I do. And that's my truth. <laughs> and, that's my <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Tyler's dealing All right, with. Guys, so with that, I am Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales, sales Wolves. Wolves. Oh. Oh.